Shadow of the Tomb Raider is one of the best Tomb Raider games I have played and I'm sure it's one of the best Tomb Raider games just of all time. But it's not perfect and like all games can sometimes run into problems. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix black screen issues in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So the first thing that you should do if you're getting a black screen in a game is to go ahead and uh, download Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. Like almost every game uses them. It's always a good idea to have uh, 2015 to 2022 Visual Studio installed on your system. I will give you the link for this web page um, in the description below and you can just go ahead and download uh, whichever one you're using. I doubt you're on an ARM64 system. So uh, whether you're on x86 or x64, 90% people will be on x64. So you can download this from here, install them and have them up and running. If you already have these installed, what uh, you can do is if we go to add or remove programs. Yeah. So if you scroll down a little here, you will see that I already have all of these Visual C++ redistributables installed. If you already have them installed, what I would recommend is that one by one, go to more options here, click on modify. Some will work, some will not. So click on modify again. Oh, wow. It's nothing gonna work. Modify. Come on. Yes. Click on modify something like this will open up. So this is for 2015 2022 and just click on repair. What this does is that it reinitializes it, runs the setup again, downloads any missing files. So just, just make sure that your game has everything that it needs to properly run. Next up, as is the case with game issues, we're going to update our GPU drivers. Now, depending on whether you have uh, an Intel Arc GPU, an AMD GPU or an Nvidia GPU, you're going to have to use whatever corresponding utility your GPU came with. I have an Nvidia one, so I'm just going to look for Nvidia's GeForce Experience. Once this opens up, head over to the Drivers tab and then click on the Check for Updates button. As soon as you do, it will start looking for updates. And if there's an update available, it will show you. In my case, there is no update. I'm already on the latest driver and my Shadow of the Tomb Raider installation works. So. Next up is to run your game launcher as an administrator. If you're using Epic or Xbox, make sure you run it as an admin. I'm using Xbox to launch uh, the game, but uh, of course you can use differently. Uh, so the problem with Xbox is that it's kind of a UWP app. So you can't really launch it as administrator because if I go to settings, uh, you can see that it's just there is no way of adding privilege to this. Alternatively, if I am install, uh, using Epic, I can right click this, click on open file location. This will give me the shortcut. I will right click the shortcut again, click on open file location again, and I will find the Epic launcher.exe file. Right click this, click on properties, head over to compatibility and make sure that you select run this program as an administrator. If you're do, running this on Steam, I'm not sure if Shadow of the Tomb Raider is on Steam, but if you're running the game via Steam, you can uh, do this for Steam also. Go ahead and click apply and uh, restart Epic Games or Steam or whatever launcher you're using and you should be able to get the game working. The next step is uh, identical to this, except this time instead of the launcher, you're going to run the game as an administrator and with uh, no full screen optimizations. So I'm just going to search for Shadow of the Tomb Raider in here. So as you can see, this is right here. Now, if I right click, I have the option of running this as an administrator. And if I go to app settings, this will instead open up in the Windows UWP uh, environment and this will not let me find where the game actually is installed. Thankfully, I know where it is installed because I'm not an idiot. So I have the game installed in my D library, uh, Xbox games, Shadow of the Tomb Raider content. And this is where you'll find pretty much everything. 
uh, sottr.exe this is the main game file so find your main game executable uh, head over to properties and in here go to compatibility make sure that uh, disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator is checked once you've checked these two options once again click apply click ok um, close any instance of it if it's running and then restart the game it should work just fine Another solution you can try out is to add the game as an exception uh, to Windows Security. Now, how do we do that? Uh, well, let's just search for Windows Security first. Launch it up. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Click on Manage Settings under Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Scroll all the way down and you will see your exclusions. Now, if I want to add an exclusion here, as you can see, I can select a file folder, file type or process. We're going to select folder here and now i am just going to navigate to where i have saved the game so shadow of the tomb raider the root directory is all i need and as you can see this folder is now added as an exclusion to windows security why are we doing this uh, it's just because sometimes when you're running a process windows security tends to scan it and uh, so that kind of leaves it in a deadlock because the process is being scanned by the antivirus on your system so it can't really run properly and causes like a bunch of issues in other games as well so it's uh, a good idea to try and put it in exclusions for windows security to see if uh, you can get the game running properly The next step is to check uh, your game files now whether you're using steam or epic or xbox app for running shadow of the tomb raider you can check your app uh, verify your files easily and if there are of course some files missing the game will not run as intended now doing this on the xbox app is uh, rather easy just open up xbox um, your games will appear right here so I can just right click this, wait for this menu to show up, then click on manage, head over to files, it is also add-ons, but click on files and then you can click on the verify and repair button and what this does is the same as on every other launcher, checks whether all the files are there, if there are any files missing or corrupted, re-downloads them and replaces them with the old files so that your game should functions as it's expected to. If you're planning to do this on uh, Steam, what you can do is just fire up Steam, head over to your library, select whatever game you want to check, go to properties, head over to installed files, and then you will see verify integrity of game files works the exact same way. Finally, on Epic, this also works the same way. So if I were to launch the Epic Games launcher and then wait 500 minutes for it to start up. Yeah, all right. So once Epic launches up, uh, go to your library uh, find the game that you want to verify in my case this is going to be uh, recently played yeah rocket league click on these three dots click on manage and then uh, you will see the verify files option show up right here once again, it does the same thing, so you don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, just make sure you verify your files. Uh, all of the files are present and uh, everything is there that your game needs to run. Finally, it's always a good idea to check whether your game is using the right GPU or not. And there are two ways you can do this. Number one is in Windows settings. So if I fire up Windows and search for graphics settings. Uh, as you can see i have this list of apps where i can let windows decide what it wants to use uh, it can either run on power saving which is your integrated gpu and this will cause problems if you have a high performance gpu make sure that whatever game you're running is running on the high performance gpu and not the power saving one this can be a problem with any game or any other program uh, so windows mostly gets it right but in sometimes it doesn't so if you're getting like a black screen make sure you go and you check this up so it should be set to high performance and not power saving uh, alternatively what you can do is uh, if you launch shadow of the tomb raider and we'll just wait for this to sign in check for updates sync data and do 
unnecessary tasks yeah in here you will see a small options setting and when you open it the game will tell you what monitor or uh, what gpu it's using uh, in my case it is uh, this monitor running on there or you can go to graphics select your settings here lower them monitor refresh it is supposed to be 144 hertz why is it not running properly yeah and just make sure that it's running on the proper monitor and that should get you in the game once you're in the game you can of course go ahead and select the right gpu in the game settings so let me show you very quickly yeah so once you're here head over to options then display and graphics and uh, yeah in here as you can see DirectX 12 is set to properly resolution is set to native as uh, DLSS is balanced monitor once again is set to the right GPU I can have it running on our graphics but I don't want that I want it running on the 4060 GPU monitor and then you can of course uh, tweak your refresh rate here as well just make sure it all matches and uh, you'll be good to go if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video